So far, I've heard from two experts with radically different points of view. I still don't know how much meat is safe to eat. And amongst our favorites of beef, pork, mince, sausages, bacon and ham are some clearly worse than others. Looking for more answers, I've come to Boston. At Harvard University's School of Public Health, they've recently completed the world's longest ever study looking at the health effects of eating different foods. As part of it, the researchers also looked at red meat and processed meat separately to assess their relative impact. The research is the life's work of the man some call the father of nutrition epidemiology, Dr. Walter Willett. So this is kind of healthy food, yes? Uh, yes, this is, I think, uh, a very good option of healthy alternatives. And uh, the food service here has been really great in terms of trying to offer what we see to be important for health outcomes. Enjoy the cartoon up there. Makes you look a little like Colonel Sanders of Kentucky Fried Chicken. No <laughs> relationship. <laughs> Dr. Willett and his team have been following the diets of over 100,000 people for over 30 years. Another huge study. The results were clear, starting with those for unprocessed red meat. Basically, fresh meat like minced beef, steak and chops. We found in this population of about 120,000 men and women that those who consumed higher amounts of red meat had higher risks of total mortality, cardiovascular mortality and cancer mortality. Right, so they died of heart attacks and they died of some cancers. Yes. They found eating red meat had a relatively modest impact. 85 grams a day, the size of an average beef burger, was associated with a 13% increased risk of premature death. Eating processed meat was much worse. If you had steak, burgers, and then you have kind of bacon and hot dogs over here, which is the worst? Yeah. Processed meat like bacon and bologna and sausage are ounce for ounce, uh, several times worse. In fact, the study suggested that eating about 35 grams of processed meat a day, a couple of rashers of bacon, was associated with a 20% increased risk of premature death. This was mainly because of an increased risk of heart disease and cancer. Bad news considering three of the UK's top five favourites, bacon, pork sausages and ham, all fall into that category. How has your research affected how you eat? I grew up in the Midwest and red meat was part of our diet probably three times a day on, on most days. Uh, we often had it for breakfast in one form or another, uh, sandwiches, hot dogs uh, at school and uh, usually hamburger, uh, meatloaf, something like that at dinner time. Uh, but uh, my diet has changed quite a bit in that way as we've seen uh, the data come in uh, that I have red meat maybe a few times a year. I'm not, I'm not a strict a few vegetarian. Times a, year. a few times a year. Well, that was actually very disappointing, particularly as I'm on this high meat diet, because I was hoping for just a few crumbs of comfort. But Dr. Willett had almost nothing good to say. Things are looking grim for lovers of burgers, beef, and bacon.